What is up agents, this is Wrecker, back with another really fun build, especially if you are a fan of the Chatterbox Exotic SMG. So with this setup, we have 30% armor on kill, 120% bonus armor on full stacks, 90 rounds in the mag, and most importantly, no reload. Yes, how this build basically works is that the magazine keeps on refilling on each kill. And I have made sure we have big enough mag to even take out named bosses before it runs out. So yeah, I've been testing this build out in all heroic activities, whether it's control points or missions, and it works just as good. So with that being said, let's get into the build breakdown and see what we have. So for the specialization, we are running Gunner. Two are the primary reasons for that is the 10% armor on kill and also the Banshee Balls, both of which we are primarily running for this setup. But then of course we are getting faster rate of fire, faster reloads, more weapon handling, and of course ammo region uh, every other minute. So that's what we are running for this setup. So starting off with the weapons, of course, this is the weapon the whole setup is built around. That's the Chatterbox Exotic SMG. For the attributes, we get SMG damage, critical hit chance 21%, and also 10% damage to targets out of cover as the third attribute, that's the go-to. Mine is upgraded to level 11 expertise, so you can only imagine that it can only get better if you max it out on the expertise, but that's not necessary at all. Uh, even if you don't have any expertise uh, upgraded to it, uh, it should be a problem because the damage isn't a problem because you will see in the gameplay you will be easily able to take out named bosses within a mag even less than a mag so damage isn't a problem here for the talent that it comes with it's called incessant chatter when you reload rate of fire is increased by 20 percent for each enemy within 15 meters for the duration of the magazine max stack is five now here's the thing this main part of the talent isn't actually what we are going for. It's the quite opposite, the bottom part which says kills refill 50% of your magazine. That's the actual goal here, is to take out one single enemy at least before the uh, magazine runs out. And that's what this build is uh, made towards. So we have a bigger mag than the usual the chatterbox comes with, but also enough damage to take out the enemy so we keep refilling our magazine with each kill. So you don't have to reload ever, which you will see in the gameplay, you don't have to reload even if it's an elite, a named boss, whichever the enemy is, you will still be able to take them out in less than a magazine. So speaking of the stats there, we are sitting at 103.1k in my case. Uh, your numbers may vary if you don't have any expertise on it, but uh, it should be around that number. We have an RPM of 700 and a mag of 90. Now this is important because the way we have set up this build, only then you can have a mag of 90, otherwise I believe it comes with uh, a 60 rounds mag on its own, the chatterbox. But yeah, that's what we are running. The secondary doesn't even matter, run what you prefer, I'm just running Dark Winter because we are not switching to our secondary ever. That's the whole uh, goal for this build. We are only utilizing chatterbox and keep refilling our mag on each kill. So that's the point here. But yeah, these are the weapons we're running for this setup. Now starting off with the gear pieces, we are running three-piece Brazos here. The sole reason for that is to we need to gain the third brand set bonus, which is 50% magazine size. So not only that, for a three-piece, we're getting 10% skill haste, plus one skill tier, that's always welcome, and also plus 50% magazine, and that's what basically bringing our magazine up to 90 for our chatterbox so this is very important okay if you are building towards this weapon in particular or any other weapon you can also use the lady death each magazine will be increased by 50 percent so that's a huge chunk for the attributes that the picaris holster that's the first piece we are running for the r pros uh that's the armor but we also get the 15 percent weapon damage core here and for the minor attribute, we are running 12% critical damage. Now, we cannot roll the armor core to a red, unfortunately, only a yellow, but yeah, that's fine. We are running all reds on the entire setup except this extra armor core, uh, which is not a problem. So, that's what we're running for the first piece for Brazos. Same attributes for the second piece for Brazos. We are running the mask in my case. All reds, weapon damage, crit hit numbers, and also a crit hit damage mod in the mod slot. 
Lastly, for the third and the last piece for browsers, we are running the knee pads in my case. Same exact attributes, all reds, weapon damage, and crit hit numbers. Now for the gloves, I have chosen to go with Palisade because of the 10% armor on kill for only running one single piece. Same attributes, weapon damage, and crit hit damage numbers. Now this is the second 10% we are getting overall in the build. In total, we are getting 30%, so 10% from the gunner spec and 10% from Palisade. The last 10% is actually from uh, the remaining two pieces. Now for the chest piece, we are running the Bellstone Armory chest here. We are running two pieces of Bellstone, so that's going to give us 1% armor regen. That's always welcome. And our last 10% armor on kill. So in total, we are getting 30% after equipping all those pieces. Same attributes, all reds, weapon damage, crit hit numbers, and a crit hit damage mod in the mod slot. Now I need to mention something here is that the reason why you see headshot damage instead of crit hit chance here because we are already way over the cap with this setup. Now I personally don't farm or look for any pieces other than crit hit numbers and that's actually a problem with this build because we are way over our 60% cap. We are actually sitting at 70% uh, uh, actually on this uh, build. So if you find any pieces which uh, have the minor attributes for crit hit damage and some other red attribute, let's say weapon handling or headshot, do go for that because you only need uh, four of the pieces with the uh, critted numbers. The other two, uh, or in fact three of the pieces, you can go for any other minor attribute. You don't have to go for critted uh, chance actually because especially running the chatterbots, it's an SMG, it gives us an additional 21% uh, regardless of mods, uh, critted numbers. So that's very important. So if, uh, again, you have uh gear pieces with other attributes then could hit chance that's totally fine you will still be at 60 percent cap but yeah anyways the talent that i have chosen to go with is intimidated because it works just fine because of the backpack talent we are running we have 120 percent bonus armor on full stack so that's a huge chunk and our intimidate is going to stay active uh basically the entire duration but that's my personal preference if you want to go with any other damage talent let upload it that's fine as well uh for the intimidate it's gonna gain you nine stacks in total so one stack each second that's gonna give you four percent weapon damage on each stack so in total when you are fully maxed out on stacks for intimidate you are gonna gain 35 percent in total but that's really up to you because intimidate is uh, only active when you have bonus armor but obliterate is uh, very simple to proc because you just have to shoot out and within a few seconds you will be fully maxing out but only 25% weapon damage so then again it's personal preference uh, what you want to run on this uh, chest here now for the very last piece is the bellstone armory named backpack it's called liquid engineer it's so it's a DZ exclusive weapon actually but uh, you can actually get it from the seasons caches and also the named caches uh, but it's not that hard to get but uh, again still an exclusive but if you don't have it you can still you know simply run a, a normal bellstone backpack with the blood suckers you do the same but it will be a difference between the weapon damage stacks that you get but anyhow uh same attributes we are running all reds weapon damage crit hit numbers uh, including the mod and the talent that it comes with is perfect blood sucker. It's very important because for the normal one, we are only getting 10%, but with this one, we're getting 12% and maxes up to 10 stacks. So 120% bonus armor on top of that armor on kill is a huge chunk for survivability. So this is very important. I personally like to run this, but if you want to run any other talent, it's totally up to you. But keep in mind, if you're running Intimidate, you are gonna need some backpack talent that gives you bonus armor. So keep that in mind. So for the skills, the primary skill I'm running is the Banshee Pulse that comes from uh, Gunner Spec, as I mentioned in the beginning. That's very important to basically disorient enemies since we are not running any gear set like uh, Hunter's Fury. So this is very important to disorient enemies while you take them out. For the mods, I'm running the Spec Mods, 15% radius and 6% skill haste to get it back as fast as possible. And of course, for the second skill, goes without saying, we're running a shield. And uh, since we are running one skill tier and one core attribute for the armor, it's a tier two skill uh, shield here. 
so we are running shield health on most of the mods and uh, holster region on the third one okay so before i jump into the overview for the build we have the stats here for the entire setup as a base damage we are sitting at 103k uh, on our chatter box but that depends how much expertise you have on yours so entirely up to you uh, we have 60 percent critical hit chance 158 percent crit hit damage now again as we mentioned earlier i am actually over the cap uh, it's actually 70 percent in my case because of the gear pieces that i have but you don't actually go for could hit uh, chance numbers on all the pieces you can actually go for any other red attribute maybe headshot damage or weapon handling instead of could hit chance on like two or three of the pieces and you should still be close to 60 percent so it depends you know what you have 80 percent headshot damage and uh, these are basically the offensive stats if i switch over to my defense tab we have over 900k base armor and 273k armor on kill that's 30 percent in total so that's really good we have 363k max health but that depends on your shade level and uh yeah that's about it okay so this is the full build everyone we are running the gunner spec here for the primary we are running our chatterbox of course that's very important that's the weapon the whole setup is built around we get a 90 rounds in the mag and also on each kill our mag is getting reset for the secondary and the sidearm totally up to you it's personal preference for the gear pieces, we are running a three-piece Brazos. In my case, I'm running the mask, the holster, and the knee pads. And keep in mind the holster that I'm running is the named one, the Picaris holster. That's going to give you two core attributes. For the gloves, we are running the Palisade. That's going to give us the 10% armor on kill on running one single piece. For the backpack and the chest piece, we are running Beltstone Armory. That's going to give us 1% armor region and 10% armor on kill by running two-piece. For the backpack, it's actually the named variant, the Liquid Engineer. It's going to give you perfect butt suckers, so that's 120% bonus armor on full stats. For the chest, you can run any normal Wellstone chest with uh, Intimidate Talent and you're good to go. For the scales, we are running the Banshee Pulse and the Shield, of course, if we ever need that. But yeah, this is the full build. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Why running it's a very fun build to run. In no way I'm saying it's better than Hunter's Fury or any other run and gun build. But this is a different perspective for running an armor on kill with a huge mag. And also when you don't have to reload ever. Regardless if you're an elite enemy or a named boss, as you will see in the gameplay, you will be easily able to take out named bosses in less than a mag. And on top, you're getting huge chunk of armor on kill and also bonus armor on kill uh, on each kill. So that's really fun. So, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.